Hello YouTube, Great Star J1 here, and I'm back today with another concept video. <laughs> Sorry for doing the Grogu concept video. So I'm now doing Mando before I can get to Ahsoka. Which if you've been watching the channel you'll know I was wanting to get Ahsoka done when I was doing when I was making that Grogu video. Basically, I was forgetting Mando and Ahsoka's abilities, which is why I was wanting to remake them. I mean, doing, uh, not remake them, because I never made the Grogu and Mando and Ahsoka concepts before. So I was basically forgetting Mando's abilities, and I've freshly actually figured out what I have Ahsoka's abilities as. So that's why I'm not going to get them as easily but for a lot of these concepts I've had in my mind for a while which is why I've been which is why I'm having trouble basically so yeah anyways on with, with the show you could say now Mando probably one of the most fan favourite characters right now on Star Wars along with probably Darth Maul, Boba Fett so, and Ahsoka Tano and of course Grogu Baby Yoda so what is there to say for my concept of him? well let's get into it shall we? now the Mando, the Mandalorian Dean Jareen will be actually unlike a lot of the other concepts on YouTube Basically, usually they give him his blaster pistol. For me, I'll be giving him, if I'm correct, the rifle. I can't remember its name actually. Uh, yeah, I'll be giving him his rifle that incinerates enemies. Now, this will basically. Now, most YouTubers don't give him this, they give him his pistol. I just want mine to be a little bit more unique because they usually give it to him as either an ability or something else so that's why I want to do this one with the rifle because it, I found it much better but he will be able to use his pistol but it will be more as if but it will be not really much because it will be an ability anyways his rifle will deal 200 damage to his to the enemies, to infantry, and this 150 damage to reinforcements and heroes, so it can one shot all infantry. And it will do that incineration thing, so it will basically be good. Now this would be the counter to Bosks, it would be better at long range, not as good at close range, but it would still deal the same damage at no matter range so don't actually worry because it's not going to be doing because it's good at any range however he'll be doing much better at range so you have to expect to be at range if you want to be somewhat effective with him so yeah anyway he will have no the normal three abilities with his jetpack, of course. Well, the way he can fly, at least, he will not actually have the jetpack in all appearances. This will just be a thing for some of his appearances. Anyway, the rifle is meant to be a counter to Bosk's Velby because his Velby is more suited for longer range engagements now he can zoom in and it will give off the effects that was shown in the Ma and mandalorian so you do get that blue screen anyway this would be a pr this would be basically his main weapon and his melee would be basically the zap he uses with it you know, the thing he uses to zap the enemies. That would be the melee. So. 
after that we will have the his abilities now the left ability will be the first ability now this would be the flamethrower now the flamethrower will basically be like the one I've had plans for my Django Fett hero guys I mean not hero guys concept I've been planning to do Django Fett and a lot of other heroes as well I've been having this series plans for a while and I'm very happy to actually begin making it which I did about a couple months back I'm pretty sure if I'm correct and yeah I'm not too good with bow wearing in offline but in hero modes um, but basically this basically if you're not aiming it down at the ground you will have a certain amount of range however if you're aiming it down at the ground no matter how far away from the ground you are you will always be hitting the ground even if you're slightly above so you could say you could be right here and you could be about right there or right here and um, you would still have it hitting the ground anywhere further on that will not be hitting it because it will have a certain range so this is more of a close range engagement but if there are any other but if they are any other enemies floating about you can hit them quite easily if you get close enough to them but when that comes it will probably be easier to use your rifle which steals quite a lot of damage to enemies as said in the intro now the now you know Chewie's bowcaster it deals splash damage well this rifle would be the same basically however the splash damage would not be near as insane as Chewie's it would only deal 50 or 20 damage so he does have quite a large reduction on his damage when it comes to his rifle splash damage now I don't know if it can actually have its shots deflected which is why I said that so but for how the gun works that's why I said it from what I know so his middle ability would change him over to his pistol for 10 seconds this would deal 100 this would just steal 90 damage so it does have a bit of a reduction and this would basically have a high rate of fire and be much better for the close range engagements now for it would not have a cooldown but because it's an ability however and it's more suited for close range instead of long range so you'll be doing so it will have a big damage drop off at longer ranges it's more suited for close to medium range at long ranges the damage will drop off over to 20 so you need to be careful when doing it at longer ranges and really your rifle would be much better for a longer range now this would just be allowing you to do the closer range because this because the rifle would have a slower rate of fire so that's why the pistol would be much better for close range while the rifle would be much better for sniping at longer ranges which is also the reason why I actually wanted to make him the long range guy because he because I get it hands meant to be the long range counter to Bosk because his pistol is quite good at longer range if not the best longer range light side pistol in heroes so yeah anyway that's why I wanted to have him be the long range guy for the light side because he need because they need their range because they do not have a lot of range unless you're going to infantry which basically you're not going to have in hero mode anyway once we come over to his right ability he would have his he would have a t his cable this would stun enemies this would be called probably something like bounty catch or something like that and this would basically just stun the enemies and this would stun them for about one or two seconds if not three 
sounds three sounds more like it. Now he will have now the pistol will have a damage drop off if you're shooting the enemy with it. So it's much better to use your rifle as that will not have a damage drop off. The damage drop off for the pistol will be would be quite major. Going it will go from 90 damage back down to the damage which when you're going to be the mando you do not want that to happen because he does become less mando like basically because you do not want to drop off your damage you'll only be able to get about a shot or two well if you're shooting the enemy because with your rifle because of how it will reload it has about a one second cool down before being able to be used again and that was a, a bit of a cool hover then um but it would have about it would be it would have a one second delay for each shot which is why you need to be careful when using it now the last ability which is not really an ability would be the way he's be able to fly now this would have infinite fuel but he would but for an idea they will have a passive abilities when they're flying this will usually just be a little bit of extra damage done to them while they're flying and a bit easier so they're easier to take out a little when they're flying this would usually just be by a five percent with five percent extra damage done to them so yeah now this would have infinite fuel and this would basically allow him to fly anywhere he really likes now this the jetpack would only appear on certain appearances appearances where we not have the jetpack like in season one appearance this would be replaced by grogu now he will actually appear on the map but not as a hero he will be in basically mando's pouch if there's not a grogu hero on the map and basically what will happen is that he will basically do the same as I did said in the Grogu concept. Now, sorry if this comes out before the Grogu concept. So, and I am doing the this in the oh never mind. Um, basically, yeah. So he will basically close his eyes and help levitate the Mandalorian. If the Grogu's in the map, you know what happens from the Grogu concepts he will the Grogu model will close his eyes and slightly move his hands to wherever Mando is. Yeah get one getting to one thousand headshots in arcade. <laughs> and we'll basically move his hands wherever Mando goes, which was not mentioned in the Grogu hero guide I'm so sorry. Um so yeah. Now over we go to his star cards so we know his abilities the, we have his flamethrower now this is not too powerful when you're flying and usually you will be flying with the manzo so this would have about a 10 second cooldown the reason why it's 10 seconds is because basically you're not you're not always going to be flying so it needs a long cooldown but when you're using it when flying you need the cool you need a bit of a shorter cooldown so it's why it's in a bit of the middle if it was always if it was more powerful and you would deal about and it would have leave and it would deal damage over time i did not mention how much damage it would actually do it would deal about 50 damage a second and you will have about 10 or 5 damage dealt to you if you're not getting burns and that will last for about three seconds now the stun will actually deal a small amount of damage only five or ten though so it's not too much of a so all his abilities do deal damage and keep in mind his stun is unblockable same with the flamethrower so he has two unblockable abilities so now let's get into the abilities i mean his star cards first star card this would increase the range of his flamethrower this would go from 10% to 15% to 
to 18% to 20%, so he has 20% extra range on his flamethrower. Now, this would basically give him extra range on his bounty, on his stun ability, I can't remember what I called it, was it, it was something like, it had bounty in, I know that, um, and basically this would just increase the range, it will go from 5 to 10 to 18 to 20, like how this one went. Now, on to his next ability. All his ability cooldowns are shortened. So, he does have a shortened ability cooldown. This would go from... Now, if I'm correct, I can't remember how it was. But wait. Was it... I, th I think I only did that, did I? Wait, no, it was... 10... Yeah, I only did that one, I'm pretty sure I don't deny. This, that would have a 10 second cooldown. The pistol, it would have a... Another 10 second cooldown. And the stun, a 7 second cooldown. So, or, wait, no, a 12 second cooldown. That actually seems more reasonable since it's a stun and it deals a bit of damage. So this would shave off some seconds. So the amount of time it'll be shaving off, it will go from one second, one point five seconds, one point nine seconds, and then to finally to two seconds. So I know I'll do do a little bit of a difference with it than Dice was actually doing it, but still. So you get a two second reduction on his all his abilities so his so the pistol and flamethrower would have an eight second cooldown well his his stun would have a 10 second cooldown so this one would be one of the cards you'd be wanting to use and if you wonder why i didn't go over the trooper mode star cards in the grogu concepts it's because these were the star cards I think you should always be winning, no matter the mode. Anyway, next up. The stun. He's, this would be called extra credits or something like that. And this would just slightly increase the stun time of his stun. This would go from 0.2 to 0.4, 0.6, and then to 1 second. So you have about 4 seconds. So you get sins for about 4 seconds, if not 3. So you get about 2 or... So you get about 3 shots in. And it's going to be 4 seconds actually, so you do get a long stun. But Mando can't actually do much to you unless he's actually using the flamethrower which basically any ability will have a reduction on their damage to it. So I think what was the flamethrower damage? It was 50 wasn't it? So that damage, for, so it would have a, so it's reduction on damage would be going down to 20 so it would deal less damage than a pistol which is why you need to be using your rifle in it because it will not have a damage drop off at any range and it actually will not have a travel time so you so it's an extremely accurate weapon it's unlike the pistol where it will have a travel time so it's rifle basically has no travel time and this was basically shown in the mandalorian so yeah so you stun enemies for four seconds basically allowing the enemy to get three shots into you into you base so you will have a ton of damage dealt to you wait hang on so yeah it was 100 damage to heroes wasn't it i'm pretty sure so <coughs> heroes will have i you'll have 300 damage done to them if that 
if they do get stunned. So he, so Mando does see a lot of damage, and there is no way to actually block this. Same with the flamethrower. Now, the next one will be. Well, I didn't go over the weapon cooldown for the rifle, did I? So the weapon cooldown will be. So the amount of shots you need before overheating your weapon on the rifle will be about five shots. So you will be need to overheating when you're if you shoot in the when in the sun. Now I now it could be actually six, so, so it's between five or six. I'm probably just going to say six and I know I keep on pushing things to their limit. I'm just trying to play it fairly, so this one oh, oh and the blue bar and the gold bar will be quite near the end the blue bar will be a bit large will be quite larger though basically this nearly like layers cooldown so this star card for this one I might just call it fire it up so I did the extra range for the flamethrower didn't I so He gains 20% or 10% damage reduction while doing it. I'll say 10% because that seems a bit more fair for how powerful these cards are. So he gets 10% damage reduction while using the flamethrower. I mean, no. Yes, no. He gets damage reduction while using the flamethrower. So. 3% damage reduction, 5%, 8%, to 10%, so he gets up to 10% damage reduction at maxed out card. For this card, hmm, I can't really do any jetpack cards because they do not actually, because they're not actually in ability, they are basically like how they with fetties. They're just there. And it just helps him get around. So and while this and I can't really do any burns so they were recharges faster because they because none of that will actually happen, so that's why I'm having trouble thinking of cards and I'm taking a while to speak of the cards. Hmm. I remember what one of the cards I was gonna say. So best card or best card protection for the name, and he gets damage reduction at all times. So this would go from five percent, ten percent, twelve percent up to fifteen percent. So he gets fifteen percent damage reduction. And no, I was not copying the card then. I just popped into my head and then I realised it was there. So he gets fifteen percent damage reduction at maxed out, at, with, with the cards being maxed out. So he gets quite a bit of damage reduction because of the best card, you could say. So, next on, next card. Now. How about something like, can bring you in warm or can bring you in cold? And this will just, I don't know, something to do with the pistol. Decrease its damage drop off at range. So this does make it a little bit more useful at range, but not. But this is more of a useless card, as you could say. This would make the drop off from twenty damage. Or th um, wait, was it thirty? I think it was twenty, wasn't it? And you'll increase it, and you'll decrease it, and you'll deal, and you'll go from. 22 to 23 to 24 to 25 so it's not too bad it could be up to 30 or 30 or, or 28 or 27 but i don't want to make him too powerful this is why I want, this is one of the cards you wouldn't really be using unless you were absolutely trying to get kills at range which you shouldn't be doing mando anyway unless you're using your rifle which does not have a damage drop off or a shot lead and i feel like commando would be used quite a lot if you're going by mine 
because you won't really need to practice leading the shots really with him unlike most of the unlike most if not F all the classes hmm Wait, one of the abilities I was actually going to give him was the best scar spear. Maybe I could make that a fourth ability. Yeah, I'll actually make it a fourth ability. So the best scar spear, well, this would just change his weapon over to the best scar spear. So he does have four abilities, because I don't know which ability to replace. And really, yeah, this would also have, a, basically any ability would have a damage drop off when, they, when an enemy has been stunned. So this one, this would just increase the damage of the best scar spear. Now basically this best scar spear, this would basically, this would basically change him and be able, this would basically change the weapon again. So we had two weapon changings. This, this one would allow, the best scar spear would allow Mando to attack and block. Now this one would also go on for 10 seconds and would deal 200 wait no it would it would deal hmm 140 damage to the to the what was it to the to the infantry 150 to reinforcements so this does get a bit more effective depending on the class it's attacking and 160 to heroes, so this one actually acts a bit differently in its damage. This would be increasing its damage on on infantry, and this would go from 50 damage, 70 damage, 80 damage to 200 damage. Eventually, allowing him to deal. Eventually, allowing him to one shot all infantry. Now, this would allow him to block and attack. He would not really be used. Now he would not actually need. Now this would be not be using stamina, since he's not actually using and stamina. Now this would now for now this would have for how powerful it would be right now. You might say it's not that powerful, but it is pretty overpowered. So it would have. Well, not overpowers, but it is quite powerful for a blaster hero and for a hero in any matter. And I know I make my heroes a bit powerful, but these aren't also meant to be going against the heroes of my version as well. I mean, it's also up to your opinion on whether you think they should belong in the game by my concept or not. So yeah, and I know I make my heroes a little insane, so... Anyway, this would have about a 15 second cooldown but could be shaved to 13 seconds if you're using that card that decreases the time it takes for it to recharge so we have the best scar spear one out of the way and finally right, I never went over his health and health recovery Neither, I didn't even go over Grogu's health recovery so Grogu's health recovery will be 250 so I'm so so sorry for not going over Grogu's health recovery for Mando, he will also have a 250 health recovery with 700 health. So he has quite a lot more health than most blaster heroes. And I think it's only fair for blaster heroes to have the have 700 health because there's not a lot of heroes that we all have that. Because there's not really many blaster heroes that have over 650 health. Unless you count Palpatine, who actually is meant to, who actually counts as a blaster hero apparently. Because there's only four light side blast, dark side blaster heroes, and five light side blaster heroes. So a pam and he's in place of a blaster hero. So Palpatine's unfortunately counted as a blaster, <laughs> despite not using a blaster. Anyways, this last card would increase his health recovery and enemy and. Help and allies in a 
three meter radius of him, so he, they help, their health recovery will be increased. Well, this would sort of act as a passive ability and would pa and would pop up in the passive abilities. Now, for the Manzo, this would go from 300 extra, no, 260 extra health, 270, 290, and then up to 300 extra health. So he can regenerate 300 health. Which for Blaster Hero is quite a lot. Now, finally, we get on to the emotes and appearances. Now, the ways, and now I think the two most needed emotes should be I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold, and this is the way. So, I think those should be the ones that are most needed. I'm going to Hank because I think he has the most appearances, if I'm correct. Maybe I might be wrong. Never mind, I'll just hit a hand. Yes, I still haven't got this because it's of the two, because you get three seconds on the dark side. If they did not change it, then I would, then I would probably have it by now if they changed it. Anyways, he would have a default. His default appearance would be the appearance we see him in at the first episode. The second appearance will be his best scar plated appearance. Where he has his best scar armor, and this would give him the jetpack. The next appearance will be his best scar appearance without a helmet. The next appearance Well, I actually didn't think of this appearance, so he'll just have about three appearances. Yeah, he'll have three appearances, so he has about three appearances. And really, that's it for now. Now, like Grogu, I'm going to. I finished the two heroes that I was wanting to get done. At last, I don't know how I'm going to do Mando because he's going to be more complicated to do a thumbnail for than Grogu because Boba. Because I have to be using the Boba Fett muzzle, and I do not want to be doing any mods in case people think it's actually in the game. And it's sort of easy to tell if my thumbnails are fake or real because they're pretty easy to tell which which, which is which. So you can tell if they're not in the game or not, if they're in the game or not, really. So for how good my models can, for how bad the thumbnails can be sometimes. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video because I had a long time doing this, these two videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.